Welcome back everybody to Body Bags. I am Critter Buster and this theme's week was Tiny Creatures and my review for this week is Blood Gnome. I'm just kidding. Actually I chose that to watch the first time and apparently after I had watched it and got ready to record my review uh, for the week somebody else had already said that they were wanting to review it so I let that slide and I reviewed Inhabited. I don't know why, but like three people chose Blood Gnome that they were going to try to do it, so it's kind of weird. Um, but anyways, yeah, I chose Inhabited this week for Tiny Creatures Week. Uh, this film uh, stars uh, Malcolm McDowell. Uh, well, kind of stars Malcolm McDowell. He's He has a role, but it's not like huge or anything. He's in it for more than five minutes, but uh, he's not the main star. Um, this film feels like a TV movie. It's really, really slow-paced. Uh, it starts. It's about this um, this family who moves into a new home, and the little girl claims that in the little dollhouse behind her, behind like in the backyard or whatever, that she sees these fairies, and the fairies are her friends, and the parents don't believe her, of course, and they there's a handyman that they hired to like re repair the house and everything. It's in bad shape, and he claims that uh, that the little girl is telling the truth. Now, um, the little girl says that the fairies are responsible for certain things that, that happens, like if somebody does something around the house and they think that it's the little girl, she blames the fairies. And, of course, nobody believes her. This movie is almost exactly like Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Uh, almost, almost exact story, pretty much. Um, I mean, even to down to where the, the little fairies kill the handyman. Um, I mean, that's... It's almost like beat for beat for Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. They just changed a few of the like backstory, and that's about it. Um, but finally, the like the mom just over time, everything that happens just just seems so out of place and over the top that she starts believing it. Like, and then they start thinking that she's crazy. So she calls Malcolm McDowell. Uh, I can't think of his character name, but anyways, he he plays a, um, a child psychologist. And he comes by to to examine the, the little girl, make sure that she's not crazy. Um, but he knows that she really isn't crazy. That it's it's happened to the people in that house before. Uh, so basically, basically, um, the the fairies finally come out after about an hour. Uh, they only kill one person within the first hour. It's a really like I said, it's a really slow paced movie. It, it feels exactly like it should be made for TV. Uh, but after about an hour, the fairies actually start showing themselves, and they start attacking the people in the house. Uh, they attack Malcolm McDowell in his car, um, and they basically pretty much try to try to redo the entire thing they did 50 years ago to the other to the other little girl, where they trap the family in the home and they're going to burn the home down, um, so that they can keep the little girl. I don't know why they, there's no explanation about why they want uh, to like keep children. I don't know if it's because they want to kill them and eat them or, or what, but. They always seem to want to keep the children uh, of the families um, and kill the parents. Uh, but the fairies are pretty much, they did for the fairies what they did for the movie The Gate, where it's just people in costumes, um, like running around, like uh, superimposed onto like actual sets. So it looks, you know, they're full grown people in, in outfits and everything, but they, their image is just taken and put onto the screen like it's um, exactly like they did for The Gate, pretty much. Uh, the movie was made, I think, in like 2002 or something. Um, I, I remember watching it when it first came out, and I didn't really... I remember seeing bits and pieces of it. Um, like, in my head, I remembered bits and pieces of it, and I was like, I really want to find this movie. I haven't. I don't know what it is. I can't find it. I don't know what is it, what's, it, what's it called. And I finally came across it again, um, and I remember not liking it that much after I watched it again. And then this time when I watched it, I liked it a lot more. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, I think it's just because I actually... Put a lot more effort into to re-examining the film instead of just like letting it play in the and you know while I'm doing something else. This time I actually sat down and fully watched it completely. I actually liked it a little bit better this time, even though if it it, it just reminds me of a uh, "Don't Be Afraid of the Dark" um, story, and it's exactly the exact same story. Uh, the effects there's almost none except for just the people in the in the fairy costumes, uh, and they look just like this what they do on the cover. Um, I mean, it's a PG-13 movie. Not a lot happens in it until the final act. Uh, it's like I said, it's a really slow-paced movie. Um, but if you guys like tiny creature films, I'm I'm sure you'll enjoy this one if you if you like slow-paced movies as well. Um, it has a weird uh, feel to it too. It it almost feels like it's 
it feels like it's shot on film, um, but but not at the same time. It feels like it's shot on film, but not. It's it's weird. It has a, a weird tone to it, I guess. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the effects are okay, except like just the like the the fairy effects. I cannot explain anything today. I'm having a really tough time. I should have just reviewed Blood Gnome. I thought I would have got a lot more out of it. <laughs> Inhabited, uh, Malcolm McDowell, Tiny Creatures, made for TV type movie. I don't know if it was made for TV, but it feels like it. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I don't I don't know what else to say about this movie. Uh, check it out if you're interested in uh, in Tiny Terrors. So thanks guys for watching another review. I'm sorry that this review probably sucked, but uh, maybe next week I'll do a lot better on a movie. I know exactly what I'm going to review next week for the theme. And uh, maybe I'll be able to explain it a lot more. So uh, thanks, guys, for watching my review. See ya.